Hi, this is an exciting day today because this is the very first child that we're going to be seeing for our quality ABA educational project. So this is Mia and she's two years and two months old and she is super cute. So we have now had her come into the office and we've had an evaluation with her to see what she can do, what she can't do. And I wanted to share with you some videos of where she really is on day one, like where we're beginning and what are some of the things that we've noticed and some of the things we're gonna work on. We've got five days of solid intervention that we're gonna do our very best to make the most maximum progress with her. I hope you'll be tuning in for the five days to see what kind of progress we can make using the autism partnership method uh, intensively every day. As I mentioned, the first thing you'll notice in the clip is she is adorable and super cute. And one of the first tasks that we wanted to see how she would do is if we were to call her name from two-year-olds around her age, uh, they would be fairly readily responsive to when you call their name, they would look around, they would look to see who's calling them and what's happening. So in this example, Winky is calling Mia to kind of come over to her to see uh, what is going on. Mia, 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 She doesn't really respond to Winky and continues to play with the toys that she's uh, playing with. She didn't really orientate or respond much to Winky's initiation. Again, Winky's quite a new person to her um, and that may have some kind of uh, effect on the situation. We also wanted to see whether she was able to do some copying of actions. Young children at her age would spend quite a lot of their time watching what other people do and kind of copying with toys or, you know, symbolic kind of, you know, actions around talking on the phone or cooking, etc. So in this clip, you'll see Winky seeing if she'll follow her to shake some salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> You see some of the good things in the clip is she's really interested in the toys. She's quite active, pays good attention to the toys that she's playing with and has a variation of different things that she does with the items. Doesn't do quite as well at noticing what Winky is wanting her to do. It's difficult for me to know at this point whether it's really more the skill of knowing about imitation or really just her responsiveness. She doesn't really respond to the instructions uh, Winky gives to her. We also wanted to see whether she'd be amenable to coming to sit down to do an activity with us. Now I asked Winky not to necessarily have a toy or an activity with her at the time because you know she may just be going to sit to play the toy. I, I wanted to see whether if we called her or bore her to sit down on the floor or in a chair, whether she'd be a willing participant in that. So that if we were to sort of teach her something new, whether that would be a difficult process. It wasn't the easiest. Uh, she, I think without the context of a toy or activity, She's more interested to go and find a toy or an activity. So you'll see it's quite difficult for Winky to sort of engage her to sit down to do something with her. We also tried to see if we could do some simple uh, instructions. And so you'll see in the clip, again, she's really engaged with the materials, which is wonderful to see. But it seems that she's not also quite so aware or keen to follow what Winky wants her to do. <laughs> Wow, 
蘋果俾我啊？係攞個 apple， 攞個蘋果俾我啊？我想要個蘋果啊，嗰套位攞俾我啊，唔該，蘋果。Again, it's really hard for me to evaluate at this point whether she does not understand what Winky's asking her to do, or whether she does understand and is just too busy doing her own thing. I'm sure we'll figure that out next week. Parents have reported actually they think she understands quite a bit, so it may just be an issue of you know really just not paying attention and listening and following the instructions of the therapist. We also wanted to see whether she understood any sort of labels, you know, ball, cat, dog. So we we tried to make the task a little bit more structured and reduce some of the other sort of distractions of the other toys to see if that would help a little. We put the labels in front of her, and, and Winky tries to ask her with quite a few repetitions to see if she'd be able to give us one of the animals. Which one is the cat? 都唔系即系我教你啦。呢只系猪啊，你俾呢只我，俾猪我啊。係啊，俾只豬我啊！唔係喎，你冇俾到喎。咁貓貓咧，邊只係貓貓啊？唔係啊，呢一隻係貓貓啊！你俾只貓貓，我俾呢只我啊！呢個啊，貓貓啊！唔係喎，都唔係呢啲。我想要貓貓喎。Again, you'll notice in the video, she doesn't really respond to Winky. She doesn't really look at her or follow those instructions, and seems. Bit more interested in looking at the card. So again, it's hard to evaluate her skill at this point, other than that she's not really that responsive to what Winky wants her to do. The last thing we wanted to look at is whether she's able to sort of make some requests. Now, for two-year-olds, if they want something that they would like, they definitely probably would point if they didn't have any language to show you what it is they would like. They would usually use some language to probably indicate their needs at this age. Mum and Dad had reported that maybe she's not quite there yet with some of her spoken words. So we just wanted to evaluate that for ourselves to see. So you'll see Winky, you know, having a couple of things that she'd like and trying to prompt her to say something, but she's not very successful in her attempts. Stop it in the jungle. iPad. iPad. I got iPad. iPad. Ayo. This is what. I think our biggest challenge right now is probably getting her participation in in the process of the things we'd like her to do. I think if we can get a little bit more of that, we'll be able to truly see maybe the skills and the things that she's able to do. I would love her to be paying a little bit more attention to the therapist. Her eye contact towards other people seems to be a lower range of what we might see with、uh, kids of her age. Um, she tends to focus just on what she's doing or the objects around her. So we'd love to see maybe if we can develop that a little bit、uh, in the coming five days. We have lots to do. We will get started next week, and we will, you know, let you know about all of the different kinds of programs that we're going to engage her with, and hopefully we can see some big changes in some of the areas that Mia maybe、uh, finding a little bit difficult right now. So tune in, and hopefully we'll have an exciting week.